<laughs> this time around, I want to talk about some things that happen in life. Have you ever wondered how is it that some people are so resilient? They suffer problems, go through bad situations, something just keeps them going. Nothing breaks them down. Yes, they may be knocked down, but they get up again and they're just like divinely stubborn, divinely resolute. Just, I will not accept, I will have faith, and they just go ahead and succeed in life. I have a little secret I want to share with you. It's from the Word of God. It's from Ephesians chapter 6, I think from verse 11, where the Bible tells us that we should do what? We should put on the whole uh, armor of God. You see, the secret of men is in their stories. Paul was the one in Ephesians 6, 11 that started talking about putting on the whole armor of God. And if you look at the story of Paul and his life, you will see a man shipwrecked, left for dead twice, sometimes beaten with stripes, mobbed, frustrated by people who supposed to support him, maybe the Jews and all the rest, and still this man was able to go through all these things and he's still preaching the gospel. You know why? It is because he shared the secret in Ephesians 6, 11, saying we should put on the whole armor of God. Today I want to share with you that that, that is the secret source, one of the secret source of the strength of Paul the Apostle. Another of his uh, secret strength is what he talked about in, uh, uh, in uh, when he talked about uh, communion, that is breaking of bread. So you see, somebody asks me which day, say, oh, what is your secret? How do you protect yourself in this work we are doing? Of course, I, I was able to show, I can share many things with him. The word of God is that and that. But I told her, say, one principal tool that has helped me is the blood of Jesus. That is breaking bread, communion. It's another secret. Paul talked about it. And then the third secret that I saw from the story of Paul is found in the, I think, Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 18, where he talked about we should pray in the spirit at all times. So three things here. Putting on the whole armor of God, breaking bread, of course, daily, and speaking in tongues. I will emphasize just two and focus on one. I will emphasize the, I will talk more on putting on the whole armor of God. For me, daily, I speak in tongues always. If I, I accept something is distracting me, I break communion daily and I put on the whole armor of God daily. If you go to one of my other videos, it was when I was about to break bread that I had the voice of the Spirit tell me the deadly virus is over. Now, let's leave that. It's one of my, my other videos when I talk about my testimony concerning my healing. So, let's leave that. So, these three things I do daily and they are part of the secret source of protection that I enjoy, that I learned from Paul. Let's talk about the reason why I, I, we are here now, and that is putting on the whole armor of God. The Bible tells us that we should put on the whole armor of God. This is what I do. I start by saying, I put upon my head the helmet of salvation. This is exercising my faith, spiritual practicality. I put upon my head the helmet of salvation. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed. I am the redeemed of the Lord, and I say so. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the Lord by becoming the curse for me, as it is written, cause everyone that hang upon the tree, that the blessings of heaven come upon me, and I will pray by the gift of the Holy Spirit through Christ Jesus. Because I put upon the, my head the helmet of salvation, I now have the mind of Christ and with the mind of Christ, I'm able to do things the way Christ does this. Does things I put upon my chest the breastplate of righteousness. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Enchantment, spell, and sin shall not and cannot have dominion over me. Even justified by faith, I have peace with God. And because I have the breastplate of righteousness, there is nowhere the wires of the enemy can be able to locate me. No enchantment, no spell, no divination protected against me will work because of the breastplate of righteousness. And I, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I have not come by my own holiness. It is his own, his own holiness I will pray to it. I got my loins with the belt of truth. The belt of truth is the word of God I is able to say, I am his workmanship created in Christ Jesus, ordained to do good works, which Jehovah God said, I over here, as you walk uh, in them. Once I have the word of God, there is nothing I cannot defeat. Why? Because the word of God is what holds me together. That is why it's called even the belt in the name of Jesus. I put upon my feet, even my feet, the preparation of the gospel of peace. The Bible says, how beautiful is this will be a sweet as is going out today that preach the gospel of Jesus. How beautiful is the feet of them that preach, the, uh, uh, that preach the, uh, the gospel of Jesus. As long as my day be, even so shall my strength be. I will walk upon my high places and my high places will not walk upon uh, me. 
We are the world is thirsty for blood today, looking for whom to kill, to steal, and to destroy. I will not be on that road in the mighty name of Jesus. My wife and my children too will not be found on the road of kill, steal, or destroy. No member of my church, none of my loved ones in the name of Jesus shall enter the road of kill, steal, or destroy because I have put upon my feet today the shoes of preparation of the gospel of peace. I take the shield of faith. The shield of faith is the one I use even as a word of God, as a shield to block off any arrows, any bullets, anything they send against me. I draw out the sword of the spirit. This sword of the spirit is the one I use to fight against anything that rises against me. I take the word of God and I wield in the spirit realm. I strike righteousness into my day. I strike prosperity into my day. I cut off every linkage of the enemy because I have in my hand the sword of the spirit. I can fight. I can defend. I'm poor. I put together. My mind is in the right uh, place. My heart is in the right place. I am. This is how I do every day. It's the secret of our survival, putting on the whole uh, armor of God. Then, of course, I break bread. Then, if you look at Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 11, it talks about this whole armor of God I just explained now. Then, in verse 18, two doors will be speaking in tongues. When I put on all that, I do exactly what he says there. I begin to speak in tongues. Brother, sister, I have faced so many things in life. And my deliverance most times is not by my own smartness, it's just God helping me. So I believe by you watching this today, you have learned something. You can see the way I'm saying it because every day I say this thing. That is what you have seen me say now. It's what I say every day. Put on the whole arm of God. I break bread. Then the kabuski, rafa sete ilaga, brete siku saketa mbranika tu ekravasoshi. Rimbaske ibreketu na verakatia se ekubaneria sete dikatuskia imprakates kulaga sosha. I speak in tongues always. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 18. So you take it from verse 11 to verse 17. You enter it to verse 18 and you are okay for the day. You will become invisible as you go out. They may try, but they will always fail. Why? If God is for us, who can be against us? They never the person who body can be even uh, against us. If God have not been on my side, what will my Israel say today? Many times they have afflicted me for my youth, but they have never been able to pray against me. Why? Because by the stripes I'm made who the stripes always work for me. In Lagasia, it's not boost, it's flowing because that is the way I do it every day. Get into the spirit, brother. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you all. Amen. In Jesus' name.